Well, our first guest is not only stunningly beautiful, but very accomplished. And back in 2010, a crowning achievement. Take a look. Miss Delaware 2010, Kayla Martell. And this morning, you will hear exactly how the pageant winner has redefined the standard of beauty for women across the nation. We are pleased to welcome to Great Day SA this morning, the beautiful and the talented Kayla Martell. Welcome, Kayla. Good morning, and along with Kayla is Stephanie Anderson, who is with Trinity Lace Wigs and Unisex Salon. So you may be wondering, first of all, why this partnership between someone who has a whistle? <laughs> First of all, it's a pleasure to have you. Thank you. And we were marveling at how beautiful you were online. And when I read about you, it wasn't so much about how beautiful you are physically. But you took your platform as Miss Delaware, and you went to the Miss America pageant, and you said, I have a, I have a, a message for all women. And tell us your story, Kayla. Well, actually, uh, going to Miss America, you know, looking at the 53 most gorgeous girls in of the, the year. Yeah. yeah, I mean, in the States. And we just had Miss America the night before last, so everyone might have been watching that. Right. Right. Um, Miss Georgia, congratulations. Yes, Ms. Georgia. Right. Yeah, she was great. Um, but, you know, you see these gorgeous girls, and they look like the epitome of beauty. And oh, it what just, we think it right. is. Yes, right. yes. And at least, you know, what you think simplicity and, and beauty all should look like. Right. And really, uh, my story is a little bit different because I have a few extra steps that take me to get to looking like I do this morning. Yeah. And so um, when I was 11 years old, I was diagnosed with alopecia areata, and I lost all of my hair within a couple of months, actually. At a young age. Yes, wow. yeah, just in junior high. So, it, well, how, how common is this for women? It's actually much more common than you realize. Um, Three million people have been diagnosed with alopecia areata over the years. That's a lot. So, even more so, um, but that's just specific cases of the type of alopecia that I have. It's actually very common. Um, but hair loss in general is a common problem for many women, whether it's related to hormones, diet, genetics, yeah. uh, stress, um, all sorts of things. All sorts of things. All sorts of things. And one of the things that I want to point out is that as you moved through the pageant circuit, you didn't try to hide or disguise, you really use this as your platform, how was it received? It was actually the other girls and where, where beauty is so, you know, we, we think we know what it looks like. You know what? It was actually very well received. The girls were fantastic. My wigs were set up next to my beautiful gowns. I mean, my wigs were just on heads just like this in the backstage. Mm -hmm. I was running around bald, yeah. um, getting ready, doing my makeup, and the last thing I put on was my shoes and my hair. Uh, so right. the girls were really comfortable seeing me as I was. It's a very supportive sisterhood um, in, within the Miss America organization. But even with our traveling um, and hosting this Women's Hair Loss Seminar, um, I've been very supported across the country. I've yes. had women coming up to me saying, oh my gosh, my sister started losing her hair when she was 20, or my mother lost her hair when she was going through menopause, and so uh, right. it's this big network across the country of women who are who are dealing with and this. With, with, with you yes. embracing this, both of you doing this together, you're going to help a lot of people out of and, and Stephanie, I'm curious how you and Kayla came in contact. Uh, uh, well, um, I was fortunate enough uh, from a lot of different um, hair studios around the country to be afforded the opportunity to have this National Women's Hair Loss Seminar. And with Kayla being the spokesperson, uh, she's been gracious to come here to the uh, uh, Lone Star State in San Antonio and to do a seminar for me. So essentially what's going to happen, and I want to mention again that you are, uh, with Trinity Lake Squeeze and Unisex Salon, you mm -hmm. guys are really opening the conversation up to women to say, hey, if you live with this, if you suffer with this, mm -hmm. don't be ashamed, don't hide in silence. Look at me, I took the pageant stage yeah. in my beautiful, I called you, I call you the bold and the beautiful. Oh, well, thank you. you. <laughs> but this is really, you, you open the dialogue, and not only dialogue, but wigs for women that, that yes. may be going through this to feel better about themselves. Yes. yes. The idea is that women can come to this seminar, meet other women like myself who are coping with this, who are losing their hair from any kind of condition, and learn that there are options for themselves and that they don't need to be in a position of losing hope. They can feel beautiful again, whether it's without their hair or with new hair mm -hmm. uh, or going through a treatment, whatever the case may be. Well, what's been the response in, in with other hair fairs like this? Uh, what's, what has been the response from attendees? It's It's been incredible. You know, we've had cities. This is our first time actually in all of Texas. So this is oh, our really? first stop okay. in Texas. Wow. Yes. So I'm really, really excited. This is our first stop in Texas. Texas. We've been doing this for three years now, um, but actually we've had repeat cities. So we've been in New York um, several times at this point, and the best moments are when we have women who attended our first and second seminars and who come back and share their stories and say, mm -hmm. I was here in your seat. Um, I didn't know where to turn. I had no hope. And here I am speaking in front of you, letting and, you know oh, that I regained my Well, and I was going to say this, Kayla. It must feel amazing to be in the national spotlight, as it were, but then to continue this kind of as a mission throughout your life, mm -hmm. because, you know, for every little girl who's going through this, who's 10 or who's 11, we, we know how much, 
you know, our hair means yes. and we, 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 we identify with it. It must feel like a bigger purpose for you now and all this, right? This is definitely my calling. I feel a sense of responsibility uh, because I went through this and I understand how those little girls mm -hmm. are feeling. Um, we have some little girls coming tonight, I believe. Yes. So it's not just for women. Yes. Um, and I definitely feel like I, I can relate to them and I want them to know that you can grow up and, and be whatever you want to be. You can, uh, you know, end up wherever you want to be and uh, even at a, at a beauty pageant of all places. Well, <laughs> so, and, 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 I, and I want people to know, you know, women to know and, and who, whoever to know, you know, that, 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 that hair loss is not the end of your, sure. your no. beauty. Your sure. beauty is coming from the inside. Mm -hmm. Now, I want to remind you that um, if you call today and you mention Great Day SA, you're going to receive a free seminar presentation folder plus a free hair and scalp analysis. And of course, Stephanie Anderson yeah. is going to be out at the seminar. She's going to show you a variety uh, of hair options, wigs, all kinds of things to enhance the beauty that you already have. Kayla Martell, we celebrate you and we celebrate this whole movement. Stephanie, this is a powerful partnership. Don't forget to go out and attend that seminar and uh, we hope to see every uh, body out there. It is um, trinitylacewigs.com for more information mm -hmm. and again there's the information on your screen September 15th 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. on Blanco Road Suite 111 and that address is 7400 Blanco Road yeah. right. thank you for being here guys right. thank, thank you, you so much. Much.